Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. I am Arshad Khan Aastik and you are watching channel The Justice Forum. Today we are going to discuss about pronouns. Okay, what a pronoun is. Look at the definition here. A word used in the place of noun. Pronoun is basically a word which is used in the place of a noun. Okay, this is used to avoid the repetition of noun in a certain sentence or paragraph. Like for example, when once I use a noun of a person, it looks awkward to use the same noun again. For example, if I say, Ali is a very good person, he goes to school regularly, he gives a lot of time to his studies. Now look here, I can't use the word Ali again and again, because it will look awkward. Okay, so this was the definition of pronoun. Now coming towards the types of pronoun. Look, there are basically nine kinds of pronouns. We will discuss them one by one, okay? Now the first one kind of pronoun is personal pronoun, okay? Personal pronoun means the pronouns that is used to describe a person, okay? Personal pronoun have further been classified into three categories. If two persons are talking to one another, then the person who is talking will use I or these are persons, then they will use we for themselves, okay? And the person to whom it is being talked he will be called by you and while third person pronouns are used for the people who are not presently among us and we are going to talk about them okay look you can see the table here i have listed personal pronouns okay they are i we you they he she it but keep in mind the personal pronoun has been classified into three cases okay subjective possessive objective these are called generally cases of pronouns but some people also call them as separate kinds of pronouns okay for example the subjective case of personal pronoun can also be termed as subjective pronoun similarly the possessive case of personal pronoun can also be called as possessive pronoun similarly the objective case of personal pronoun can sometimes somewhere be called as objective pronoun okay now we will discuss these cases that why they are named as subjective possessive and objective what does this term means okay look here subjective means that the case of pronoun that is used as a subject and sentence okay as earlier we have discussed in lectures that subject is something that performs an action in a sentence okay now whenever you are going to use a pronoun that works as a subject in a sentence that must be in this case okay now the possessive case is used when you want to show the ownership okay for example if i say that this is my house now i can't say this is i house that would be wrong okay instead i can say this is my house so now when i go to show my ownership regarding a house i will have to use my okay similarly i can also use mine my and mine is basically the same thing but the difference in the use is that mine is often used at the end of sentence okay for example the same sentence this is my house can also be spoken as this house is mine okay similarly the possessive cases for we are ours and our okay the difference between our and ours is the same as the difference between my and mine was okay whenever you are going to use the possessive case of we at the end of sentence then you will have to use ours okay for example this is our house you can also say it like this you can also speak it like this this house is ours okay so similarly for you there is your and yours for they there is their and theirs for he there is only his okay for she there is her and hers okay for it there is its okay the third one column is named as objective case okay now what the objective case is used for whenever you are going to use a pronoun as an object in a sentence then you will have to use these cases okay you can't use the previous two cases like for example if i say i slept him now at this sentence i can't say i slept he similarly i also can't say i slept his okay that would be wrong instead i should use him okay think another sentence like he told me now in this sentence i can't say he told i i also can't say he told my okay both these sentences would be wrong okay the only correct sentence will be he told me okay so i hope these things would be clear now to you okay now we are going to discuss the next kind of pronoun that is relative pronoun okay 
what does a relative pronoun do a relative pronoun actually connects the last clause of a sentence to the main sentence okay for example here i have written i saw the dog that you own okay now look this is the last clause of the sentence you own okay this has been connected by that to the rest of the sentence okay sometimes we also use who and which as a relative pronoun okay for example this was the person who saw me yesterday okay this is the car which had the boy okay so these three are only relative pronouns okay the next kind of pronoun is reflexive pronoun okay after that you see here this is intensive pronoun there is a slight difference between reflexive and intensive pronoun okay the words are basically same which we use as a reflexive or intensive pronoun but their function is different okay now look at the difference reflexive pronoun is basically a pronoun which is used in a case when a subject performs an action on itself okay in other words we can say that the sentence in which reflexive pronoun is used that would have a same subject and object okay just like look at this sentence i kicked myself here i is a subject kick is a verb and myself is object now look here i myself both represents the same person okay so here we can say that the subject and object is the same in this sentence so hence myself is a reflexive pronoun here okay now the same word myself is also used here in this sentence okay but look here this would be called as intensive pronoun instead of reflexive pronoun why it will be called as intensive pronoun look intensive pronouns are basically used to add emphasis on its antecedent okay like for example here if i remove this pronoun myself from the sentence only if i say i cooked the meal the sentence would still be correct it would give us the complete sense but here why i put myself because to add emphasis on the subject okay emphasis mean to add stress on the subject okay to make someone believed in that what i did okay now if we talk about the urdu translation of these two sentences you will also feel the difference very clear okay maine apne aap ko laat mari and this sentence can be translated as maine khud hi khana pakaya now look maine khud hi khana pakaya here the word khud hi is used for the stress okay to make the belief of someone strong that you are talking to okay so i hope this would be now clear now coming to the next type of pronoun that is indefinite pronoun okay what an indefinite pronoun is indefinite pronoun is a word that refers people or things in general okay not specifically for example somebody someone everybody anyone okay nobody this kind of pronouns are called as indefinite pronouns in which not a specific person or thing has been pointed out okay the next kind of pronoun is interrogative pronoun okay interrogative pronoun is a pronoun that is used for question purposes okay for example these five pronouns okay who whom whose which what only these five pronouns are interrogative pronouns okay the other type of pronoun is demonstrative pronoun demonstrative pronoun is used to point out something okay these pronouns are only four in numbers basically two in numbers but the rest of two pronouns are actually plural to the previous ones okay for example for this the plural is these for that the plural is those okay so basically there are only four pronouns that are used as demonstrative pronouns okay the next one pronoun is reciprocal pronoun okay reciprocal pronouns are like for example each other one in other okay these are called reciprocal pronouns when two persons are there and they are participating in an action in a combined manner then we use each other okay each other is used only in case of two persons okay if there are more than two person engaging then we use the word one in other okay the next kind of pronoun is distributive pronoun distributive pronouns are each either neither okay these are used in sentences in such a manner for example 
each of the boys went to school this would be translated in urdu as har ek bachcha school gaya ya har bachcha school gaya okay now look at the second word either if i say either of the boys went to school it means in urdu dono mein se koi ek bachcha school gaya okay now if i say neither of the boys went to school it means koi bhi school nahi gaya so i hope you will have got the pronoun lecture so this is the end meeting you in next video goodbye